An encore performance will give the Great Falls community a chance to see the play converge. Its performers are high school students who are sending a powerful message about hidden everyday struggles. MTN's Elizabeth Transu has the story of a filmmaker who tagged along throughout the production. I think the Great Falls community, for the most part, really has no idea what our young people go through on, on a daily basis. Tim Jongren has been in the industry for 10 years now. I thought I knew. I've, I've been here now for 15 years. So when he was asked to take on the role of this project... The interviewees themselves, such courage they had to come forward and, and tell their stories. He just couldn't resist. For me, it was just about getting the stories out so the community is, is more aware of, of what's going on underneath the surface. He's been there since the beginning. He's listened to over 80 hours of interviews, sat in on every rehearsal, and has seen the performance more times than he can count. It was incredible. The students who, who actually took on the actual stories, they actually morphed into the stories themselves. They paralleled the emotions, uh, the, even, even the body language the, itself. It was just so similar to the initial interviews. I was, I was astounded by that. After hearing the stories of abuse, neglect, and homelessness, along with the production crew, he too helps to spark a conversation. But hopefully it will open up a conversation within the community where that, you know, maybe some of these issues can be looked at more deeply and, and addressed. In Great Falls. If we can honor the people that we interviewed in September. Elizabeth Transu. And get their stories right so people can understand not only what, what they went through, but what other people, what other young people are going through right now, then I've, I've accomplished what I, what I set out to do. MTN News. The encore performance of Converge is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at Great Falls High School. You'll have to wait until May to see the documentary. There'll be a presentation of it at the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center on May 19th at 7 p.m.